Okay, this tutorial is going to go over um, edit. We're going to add a star field, add some keyframes, and um, render a movie. So here we'll go File, New, Create a New Document. And uh, let's uh, zoom out a little bit. Um, I want to start by modifying this, um, our default cube here. So I'm going to press the S key to scale it. Um, I'm going to press. Uh, Let's uh, right click, is that, let's move away and hit press uh, S. And let's scale it about the Y axis, press the letter Y. And uh, there we go, clicking, all right, press S again. And let's scale it about the X axis, press X. And there we go, we got this kind of book shape thing. There we go. Now, um, let's, I'm gonna press the number pad um, seven to look at this from above right click on the camera come down here click on this add a constraint basically i'm going to we're going to track um this object the camera is going to track this object um, you can learn more about this in another tutorial of mine so um there we have it that's done now you'll notice as i move this object the camera tracks it so i'll uh, check that out whatever so i'm uh, pressing zero to look through the camera and then as we push that away, it goes off into the distance. All right, so now let's um, come down to, and click on this. Gives us some, um, I'm gonna click on this and this. All right, now we have a def our default blue, we're gonna change to black. Click OK, uh, enter. And I'm gonna create some stars, click on stars. And we'll change the star distance to four and the star size to point three enter and um, let's press uh, f12 and see what this looks like hey not bad all right cool that's what that looks like all right so let's click on our blender window here and um, let's um, start by adding a timeline here so I'm going to come over to the corner of the window right click set split area and um, give us a line to define a new window region we'll click there and we're going to come over here and click this little stopwatch called Timeline. Now we have a new a new window with a timeline here. So let us view this from above. And that's a 7 on our number pad. I'm going to wheel mouse to zoom out. And let's push this way off into the distance. There we go. And now let's see. Um, let's create a keyframe. And here is your keyframe button. Um, clicking on that once and we'll add a location keyframe. You can also do that by pressing I. All right, so there we've got that keyframe. Let's move it into the center of view and um, come forward in time. Oh, made a mistake. Let's uh, come forward in time first. We'll come forward in time, uh, 50 frames. Move our object to uh, the center of view here and now uh, press I or that uh, keyframe button location there we go now um, again let's move forward in time 100 uh, to the 100 frame 100th frame and move our object f um, very far, far to the right and press um, our keyframe button here we'll do location if you're going to modify the rotation you would want to do location and rotation or location rotation scale etc we're just going to do location there we go. So now as we um, roam back and forth in our timeline, you'll see the um, object move back and forth. And if I hold down the Alt key and spin the uh, mouse wheel, you can see the movie, how the movie um, advances and, and rewinds. All right, so let us press the zero key to look at this through the camera. And that looks pretty good. So. Um, Let's do uh, just a quick render here, F12. And that uh, gives you an idea of what this is gonna look like, and that's not bad. So um, let's make a few changes here before we render a movie. We're gonna come down to um, uh, click on this button right here. And we are going to, instead of um, outputting a single TIFF frame, we're gonna output a QuickTime movie. You can also output um, an AVI file. Um, we'll go with the default options here for the QuickTime movie and um, instead of um, uh, making a huge 800 by 600 movie we're gonna 
<laughs> scale this down 50%, so it's just going to make it half the size. And I'm going to, this OSA stands for oversampling. We're going to turn that off. We don't necessarily need that right now. I'm going to turn off shadows and rays and, and um, I don't, I think this is subsurface scattering, I'm not positive. We'll turn that off too. And um, all right, so let's see. The uh, next thing we're going to do is change the movie from being instead of one frame to 250s, we're going to just render to the hundredth frame. So I'll we'll type in a value of 100 here, hit enter. And let's just kind of review what's happening here. We'll rewind and, and um, okay, that looks pretty good, right? Um, if I uh, zoom, just kind of scroll through here, this is kind of a, a rewind of what the movie will look like. All right, so let us come down here and hit uh, animate, and um, you'll see render starts building the first frame of our movie. Um, and uh, oh, one more thing I wanted to show you. Let's uh, hit escape here. Sorry about that. Um, let us come down to motion blur. This is going to make this much more interesting. Um, I'm going to click on motion blur and leave it set for 0.5. And let's uh, start another um, render of this. I'll hit animation here. And uh, sure enough, here it is working on frame one. And uh, you'll see it's going to build a few frames. Um, uh, it's going to make several passes just to just to render a single frame. So um, if you uh, check out my um, YouTube channel, you'll see an, an already rendered version of this. I hope this is useful. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.